Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm showing you how to use the command prompt to just, or just to use your command prompt. I'm going to show you different uh, basic commands that are pretty beginner-ish. Uh, I'm a beginner with command prompt. I started using it and trying to figure out how to use it a couple days ago. So I figured while I'm learning it, I'll go ahead and post tutorials on how to use it. And uh, maybe it'll help you guys out if you're... Uh, trying to learn how to use the command prompt. So to go ahead and start off, I'm going to show you how to, first of all, start up the command prompt. Um, and basically what the command prompt is, whoops, is it's just a way to give your computer commands to access different parts of your computer manually by telling your computer what to do. So that's basically the definition I'm going to give you for it. Uh, go ahead and go to run. <coughs> it, this works on, or this is on Windows 7, but it's also on XP, Windows Vista, all Windows computers, really. So go ahead and go to Run, and go to CMD EXE. Go ahead and type that in. And now you're in Command Prompt. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to show you how to change any colors or anything like that, because I don't think that's really important. But you can go up here, go into your properties, and there's a couple different settings you can change if you want to do that. Um, go ahead. Right, what I'm going to show you first is a few couple commands. The uh, this change directory. A few couple commands. God, I can't talk. Um, CD, which means change directory. Right now, the directory I'm in is uh, users owner. Uh, you can do CD. You can go into a specific directory by typing dir enter. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way back to the C drive. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, that if you want to go back one directory, say if I wanted to go into users, then I would type in cd, change directory, uh, dot dot, enter. And that's going to take me back to users. If I wanted to go back one more, I would do the same thing. But say I wanted, one second, oops. Say I wanted to go all the way from users, or from u owner, users, all the way back to c the C drive, just the basic C drive, back to the beginning, without having to um, go through each directory one at a time, I would do C drive, or C <laughs> CD forward slash enter, and that's going to take me all the way back to the beginning. <coughs> so, with that being said, you know how to go back and forth between... Uh, or go back from directories. Now, if you want to go forward in a directory, say you wanted to go to um, to users, you would do cd, change directory, uh, space, users. Now, it's not caps sensitive, but it is um, letter sensitive, so you want to make sure you're typing in the letters absolutely perfect. You can't misspell anything, otherwise it won't it won't be able to read it right. Uh, if you want to go one more, you're going to go cd, remember to put cd, uh, owner or whatever your name is on your computer. Mine is just owner. I haven't changed it yet. Enter and now we're in CD owner. Okay, so if you wanted to actually go into into your uh, owner's directory, you would do dir enter and that's going to actually enter your uh, your your directory. Um, now these are a couple of programs I have. Um, contacts, desktops. Some of your programs will actually be listed in here. Like I have GIMP. 2.6. That's actually a program listed in my uh, my owner directory uh, for some reason. But you can always go to um, other things. I'm going to show you in a second how to open a program using the directory or the uh, the command prompt. Sorry. So uh, now you know how to use directory. I'll I'll keep showing you how to use it. So it's kind of a basic tutorial on how to use it. But uh, I'm going to go all the way back and I'm going to show you how to open a program using the command prompt. All right. So the first thing you want to do is go cd program Oops, program files. I'm typing with one hand, so I'm typing really slow. Whoops, I just spelled that. Again, it is uh, spelling sensitive, so program files. Alright, enter. As you can see, now we're in program files. That's the directory we're in. Now, if you want to see, uh, if you want to see what's in this entire directory, what you're going to do is uh, type in dir, and that's going to open the directory. As you can see, there's a lot of things in here. These are most of my programs. Um, some of them were listed somewhere else, but um, I'll talk about that probably sometime else. Anyways, <coughs> so if you want to open a program, say I wanted to open Windows Media Player, what you're going to do is come down here, uh, go to cd, change directory, space, Windows Media Player enter and now as you can see we're in Windows Media Player if you want to go actually into that directory you're gonna go dir enter and that's gonna bring up all of this so 
Okay, now if you actually want to open the, the Windows Media Player, you're going to look for uh, one of these, um, I don't know what's, what, what you call them, one of these uh, titles, I guess. And you'd scroll down until you find one with EXE. Now, there are a couple in this list, <coughs> but the one we're going to want to use to open the Windows Media Player is the WMPlayer.exe. And what you're going to do is just type it in. Um, where is it? Uh, WM player exe now you don't have to do cd or dir before this just type in the uh, the, the name so just wm player exe enter and there we go we're opened into windows media player so uh, this is my first video on how to open a command or <coughs> sorry a program through the command prompt um, and using some basic commands i'll keep going over these in every video so we'll get a, a pretty good understanding of how to use a command prompt. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like and favor this video. Uh, tell me uh, if you liked it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.